guys how much I love Sacramento and people talk mess on Sacramento but you're so close to many a thing so um, right here just a adventure with the crew we're out here at a place called Apple Hill which is probably 75% on the way to Tahoe. Sacramento is dead middle kind of of uh, California and one way you kind of have San Francisco and the other way of Lake Tahoe which are two obviously very uh, popular touristy spots so didn't get to train yet today we'll probably train a little bit later if you guys want to fast forward and head to that footage but for now we're gonna kick it we're at this little brewery uh, brought our own sandwiches just got the drone so hopefully you guys enjoy some of those shots beautiful day it's about 60 degrees which is nice too because it's only about 45 minutes to an hour away from Sac um, but Sacramento is still like 80 90 degrees every single day so it's a good place talk about October November this is the spot uh, growing up in Sacramento or if you live in Sacramento you come up here at least once grab a pumpkin people come up here and chop down Christmas trees uh, I'm doing my job here and I'm getting rushed Let's wrap it up <laughs> wrap it up fellas what do you want We're trying to move. well we could do that but we can't just film us moving a table where are you at me I was telling him about my childhood so off camera was like this <laughs> no it was like this yo the sign is real simple B it says wrap it up no, it wasn't. Change the face. <laughs> yeah, not a big deal. <laughs> no, Connor. <laughs> Happy deadlift day, my friends. <laughs> I tell you about Roller Coaster Tycoon. You told me you didn't tell them. The roller Coaster Tycoon. <laughs> Give this thing a thumbs up. Comment below if you guys ever played Roller Coaster Tycoon as a kid. Shout out to my boy Evan who reminded me of it and told me that it was available on my phone. Best purchase of my life. Best $5 I've ever spent, hands down. Besides maybe a chocolate <coughs> dipped cone. The question was, internet asks a lot, why don't I tie my shoes? Uh, tradition in basketball, basketball typically you go out for shoot around, maybe an hour before the game, you just get shots up on your own kind of thing. Then you go back, change or whatever, um, and then come out and do like a 10 minute warm up as a team during shoot around or early in practice, uh, when it was just like free, I uh, just, you know, go 50%, 70% by myself, shoes untied, just tradition, and then I'd lace them up when it's time to like start team practice or start team warm up. So lifting weights now, it's kind of kept the same tradition. Uh, and then also, because the shoes are just a little bit tighter, obviously I'm not running and jumping. Uh, sometimes I leave them totally untied if I stay kind of under 70%. If I get a little heavier, I'll tie them up just to get an extra little push, uh, both in the squat and uh, sumo, just because I do want my feet kind of stuck to the, the floor and don't want my feet wiggling around the shoe, but that's that. Plates are heavier at untamed strength. Didn't know. I've learned instead of being a tough guy and going through, I'm just gonna go home, figure some shit out, probably uh, call up the homegirl Mario, get some work done. Uh, I think the majority of it is just uh, hyperactive erectors. And then when I sleep, if I sleep wrong, hip shifted, one way or the other, they just get extra tight. So even pulling sumo right now, I just feel it locked in right here and here. Not an injury. I've preached a couple times about knowing the difference between being injured and being hurt. You know, something hurting. Is much different and as you hopefully played sports or done anything in life the older you get you start to figure that out so i know i'm not injured so my mood's okay obviously i'd like to squat you know i'm planning to squat over 
350 for three sets of 10, beltless. Because last week I did about 315 to 325 for 10s. Um, but based on how slow that moved and how my back felt, uh, based how 225 felt, uh, just on the one rep, I can just feel it's angry. And doing more work's only gonna make it worse. So, um, you know, you kind of weigh your options, figure out what you can do. I'll probably finish up with some chin ups. We got some drone shots to shoot outside. And then probably some lunch to eat. All meat.